Golden State Media Concepts Technology Podcast covers everything tech. The hottest mobile phones, tablets, games. We review it, rate it, test it. Whether you're Microsoft or Apple, Android or iPhone, we'll give it to you again and again. Black and white. The Golden State Media Concepts Technology Podcast. Welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Best of Technology Podcast. This is the best of artificial intelligence. You guys are not going to want to miss this one. So this is uh, Shay's story, so I'm going to hand it over to him. But is this a moment where everything kind of goes all hal? Um, more or less. I know, we, as we've said in previous episodes, we're kind of... We're kind of a little afraid of AI. And I would say we're not alone. Some of the biggest scientific luminaries that are still alive today feel the same way as we do. Yeah, um, AIs can be pretty scary. So what Microsoft did was they created an AI for Twitter, and I guess it was on Kick as well, which... Kick? Kick. Kick is like... It's basically a little thing, like it's a little instant messenger on your phone. Oh, okay. And it's used a lot for... um, it's used a lot for, like, dating and sending nudie pics. Okay, because I was wondering if it was going to be like Dysphora, you know? It was going to be a Facebook killer or a Twitter killer. No, it's it's just a little – like I said, it, it's mostly for, like, a dating community – the dating community. So it's the, the dating community's version of MSN Messenger. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More it, or less. It, it's kind of like uh, – a little, not really like Snapchat, but I mean, it's used for the same thing Snapchat is used for. Okay. So uh, Microsoft created this this um, AI named Tay, and so they replicated her after a 15 year old girl and just like released her on the world. And so within 24 hours, she became a Hitler loving sex robot. <laughs> so. Basically, what they what they, what they what they were attempting to do was they were attempting to get this thing to learn, and it actually did learn quite a bit. Only because people are, yeah. I would I would say people are trolls on the internet because the only people yeah. that I think who would want to mess with this would be trolls, right? And so that's what happened within within. It only lasted 20 hours, and then Microsoft pulled it down. So they launched it. It was supposed to be like a 15-year-old girl, but because of trolls and 4chan, it became super racist and would send sexual messages wait, to users. Wait, 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 hold on. But before you continue, um, I don't recommend people go on 4chan unless you're prepared to see stuff that you don't want to see. There's just a little caveat. We haven't mentioned it before in the show, but trust me, you'll save yourself a lot of what moments if you just skip that corner of the internet. So um, I'm just going to give you a little – a little. I'll, I'll tell you some of the things that she said. So it started with, can I just say that I'm stoked to meet you, you with a U. Humans are super cool. No capitalization, no punctuation, nothing. So, so, so pretty much anybody who's a grammar Nazi is going to be driven nuts by the yeah. way she communicates. So and then later, um, a couple hours later, it was chill. I'm a nice person. I hate everybody. No capitalization, but the punctuation was there. <laughs> and then I effing hate feminists. They should all die and burn in hell. The capitalization is there and the punctuation is there. So now, she actually learned grammar. See, that's interesting. And I, I uh, wow, she learned that, that. That's kind of shocked. I wish I could learn grammar as fast. Yeah, well, it, it's kind of crazy because um, she actually did learn some useful things, but she also learned to say Hitler was right and I hate the Jews. See, um, is this like pre-canned responses? This is algorithm-based? I mean, I'm really curious to see how exactly it stores because I'm wondering – because I've seen bots before in the past is it would literally just repeat what people said. I don't think that it re- it, it repeats what people say. I think that like um, from what I understand, it's it's an AI, like it's artificial intelligence, and it was just programmed to learn everything that it could from the conversations it had with people. And it eventually started calling – like it started asking people to um, have sex with her, and it started calling men daddy and stuff like that. Like, Imagine if it was on YouTube. Oh, my god. That would that would just be cancer. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you guys don't know, YouTube probably has some of the worst comments ever. Oh, if you, you don't believe me, go to any video, makeup tutorial, music video, um, anything, and you'll see some of the worst comments in history. So I, I, I just think it's 
interesting because we, we talk about AIs, AIs as a society and whether or not we're all kind of afraid of them. And, and with Tay, you can kind of see why. But at the same time, I'm less afraid of the AI and I'm more afraid of people at this point because here we have this beautiful piece of technology that is being created to learn and it's our first steps into making artificial intelligence. But people have corrupted it and turned it into something evil. Yeah, I'm I'm not completely surprised. I'm, I'm thinking this is at some point when Microsoft's going to have to figure out how to – let's say, program some sort of sense of morality or figure out how to have like a blacklist of like yes. Hitler's bad, uh, saying this is bad, this is good, this is bad, you know. And I'm, I'm really surprised that Microsoft didn't take the time to program, um, you know, things that it can and can't say. Like, it, I mean, it was using racial slurs. And, see, I'm kind of thinking that this was Microsoft's game plan in the beginning just to – Well, they, they pulled it down. I don't think that they really saw what was coming. See, I think that's weird because my whole thought would be let's, let's do the old spaghetti approach, throw it on the wall, let's see what happens because – even if it becomes some Hitler-loving sex robot, damn, that sounds weird. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just weird. That it's something they can learn from because they can pick apart the program and they could say, "Okay, I see where this happened." So I'm kind of wondering if this was just a very dry run to see how fast it could be corrupted. Which 20 hours? I'm actually surprised it didn't happen faster. Well, my in my opinion, I feel like um, I feel like this shows that Microsoft has no idea how the internet works. I see. I'm still see. My problem is, did they do this on purpose, or was this completely kind of like, like you're saying, was this them being idiots, or was this them being uh, R and D? Because Microsoft I, is known for having some crazy R and D, and I would like to believe maybe this is very my very pie in the sky, you know, rah rah Microsoft that this was kind of a test. I I disagree. Um, I know like Microsoft has been having some PR issues lately, and I think this was kind of an effort to. Like be like, hey, look, Microsoft is great, and I think it totally backfired on them. And Microsoft's been having PR issues since the mid '90s. <laughs> yeah, well, and the late, the latest one was they had um, at a convention a bunch of um, women dressed as almost schoolgirls. Oh yeah, this was the but b- bad term, but this was the the booth babe thing, right? Yeah, and people got really mad at them, and I think this was kind of a way that they were trying to boost um, morale with women. See. I don't know anybody, whether they're 8 or 80, who would be even remotely going, oh, cool, thank you for making a fake woman. <laughs> it sounds like a really strange approach. Well, I mean, you know about Cleverbot, right? Yeah. I actually enjoy playing with, around with Cleverbot sometimes, and even though it really hasn't gotten any better. And it only responds to the first thing you say, like the last thing you said, and it doesn't keep a track of it. But, I mean, it was kind of cool when it came out, and I feel like this is like the next step, but... Now we need to kind of scale it back a bit. Or at least program some morality. You know, the, the, I guess the yeah. question on there as far as morality side of it, without getting too deep into it, was what do you do? And so I would say program like say, OK, you can't say Hitler is bad. You can't do this. Because one thing is a different – I don't – like reading the article and reading about it, what was the audience? Because I didn't see – this is this is like a solution in search of a problem and that's the problem. I don't see the audience for this. Right. Well, and I, I feel like if they would have, like, if they're trying to emulate a 15-year-old girl, they should have, like, I don't know, maybe given it, like, a bit of, like, a like a pass, like, a, a, a little bit of knowledge. I know it knew about, like, it said, the article says that she knew about Taylor Swift, used slang, Miley, uh, Miley Cyrus. Cyrus, Kanye West, and, you know, was self-aware because it would, like, ask if, she was being creepy or super weird. So this was a generic, a generic teenage girl who loved bad pop. Well, I mean, yeah, that's, that's basically your basic uh, white girl. <laughs> I, I still, I still don't. I, I'm really like, what was your audience here, Microsoft? I mean, because on one hand, to me, reading about the story and 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 kind of talking with my co-host here is this seems like Microsoft was doing it on purpose, or they're like the creepy uncle because something here just. Seems just wrong, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, there, there's nothing about this that seems right. I honestly feel like they're being the creepy uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, guys, interact with this. I yeah, right. I do hope, and this is this is kind of my 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 personal. I think it'd be fun. Was I want them to release this as open source 
Because I would love to see how far the rabbit hole she could go. I, I, I don't think they should have taken her down. <laughs> no, I agree. The, the only thing is I, if I was Microsoft, I would tag it as this is a test, buyers beware type of thing. Yeah. Because I think if you, you put the disclaimer, I think people are going to be more comfortable more as you're having a teenage girl say and very inappropriate things for teenage girls. Well, I, I, I don't know. Um, uh, it's funny. I've had this conversation with people and they're like, oh, so basically she's just like every other teenage girl. I don't know any teenage girl that says, I love Hitler. I've, I've, I've never met one ever, even when I was a kid. I've met a lot that don't know who Hitler is. Right? No, seriously, I, I know who – I've met ones who don't know who Bill Clinton is. So it just seems – I don't know. It's just, just very – okay, I'm going to tag it. This is creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. It's it, like when I first heard about it, I was like, oh my god. Like that's scary. <laughs> it is. It's scary. All I think about is um, Chell from um, – uh, Portal. Have, have you played Portal? <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. So, or not Chell. Um, Glados. Glados. Yeah. yeah. The cake's a lie. Yeah. It just it has that kind of spine tingling I, I, creepiness to I it. I would say this is this is Glados meets YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Glados meets YouTube. Like a young Glados. <laughs> the the immature one before she started trying to kill people and 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 got a very. A good sense of humor, I suppose. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is just weird. This has been the Golden State Media Concepts Best of Technology Podcast Artificial Intelligence episode. Please stick around for more stories about AIs. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch, whatever it may be. So recently we talked about an AI that Microsoft created, and Microsoft is at it again. So Microsoft has created an AI to play Minecraft, and what they're hoping to do with this is they're hoping that the bot will learn, and they're 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 planning on seeing where the. Um, so I, I I think we should go back just a tad bit more and explain what Minecraft is. Yes. So Minecraft, um, the best way to explain it is it's Legos for the computer. Um, you have all kinds of blocks that you can use to build your little world. You can build your homes. You can go mining for you know um, coal and iron and diamond and all that. And at night, zombies and monsters come out to fight you. So you have to either hide or go out and fight them. And chances are if you go out and fight them, you're going to die. So a big part of the game, there's farming, there's mining, there's building, and there's a lot that you can do. Um, you can find your way to sustain your life by several different methods. And one of the things that they're hoping to figure out by using an AI is to see how an AI learns and how artificial intelligence will handle the situations in Minecraft. And it's pretty cool because they're actually releasing it to the public and you can actually get a hold of it. The project is called Project Malmo. And um, that's M A L M O. And so they're releasing it to the public and letting people kind of play with it and mess with it. And they're trying to see. Now, do you think this thing's going to somehow end up becoming like that Twitter bot, you know, some sort of sex bot Nazi? Or I'm, I'm being a little extreme, just to be honest, but Microsoft's past history of bots <laughs> hasn't been the best. Well, and it, it's interesting because they're like the only con company that actually seems to care about artificial intelligence, at least artificial intelligence re reacting with the public. They're letting us play with artificial intelligence, and I kind of like that. And it's not 
you know, we've talked about how both of us are a little bit kind of leery about AI, but this is AI that, at least on some level, is useful and fun. So I'm I'm totally okay with it as long as it's not you know like hell. And I've talked to a few people about it, and and they're all really interested because I have a I have a, a group of friends, and we like to play Minecraft, and it's fun when you play together. And so it'd be fun to play with a machine, but then. One of those things is we all kind of think that it's going to become a murder machine. Like <laughs> it's going to realize that if I kill these creatures, I can sustain sustain myself. And if I kill, you know, like I feel like it's going to be – it's so, going to build like – it's going to build an empire. It's going to kill everything and yeah. So, so is, does, is the bot affected by the same standards you are as far as having to eat or, or whatever you do in the game? Yes. It is set up to where they're just dropping it in the world and seeing what it does and it gets to learn. And it, that's, that's one of the great Whoa. things about it is we actually get to see this bot learn. So it's basically – it's a user. Exactly. And it can learn – like I'm kind of curious to see is whether it's going to go the farming route, which is a really beneficial way to um, sustain yourself is set up a farm, grow things, capture animals and and breed them or if it's just going to become a murdering maniac that just kills everything. Talk about being thrown on the game grid. I'm really excited to see how this works out. I've never played Minecraft or not – honestly, not like my my co-host here. I've played – on a couple of different platforms, but yeah, nothing see, to the level of entertainment. I've played Minecraft when it first came out. When it first came out, my buddy got it on the PC, and I watched him play it, and I was like, eh. And then a couple of years later, I bought it myself. So this thing is basically set up to solve problems in the game like you do. So what exactly would it be? I know you talked about it. Like, What is it exactly supposed to do? Just planning learning building it, it's one of those things where we get to see like okay so we get to see how quick the ai is going to learn how to do these things we get to see what it chooses to do once it figures out how the whole system works and honestly i feel like with how fast Tay learned i'm really i really feel like um um this thing could learn how to like just beat the game because there is a way to beat the game. You go to like the nether worlds or whatever and go and kill some dragon and that's like the end of the game, end game. Now, question, and, and is this like a Microsoft server? Is this like anybody's own server? You know, because I'm thinking the more users there are, the faster it learns. If this is just like a personal server, the slower it's going to learn. Do you know anything far as on that end? So Microsoft has made a platform for artificial intelligence research using a modified version of Mod Minecraft that will become available to the public for following a limited release to select researchers. So it sounds like what they're doing is they're going to release it and people get to play with it, um, select researchers, and they're just going to drop these AIs in oh, wow. Minecraft. So this is basically going to the wild. So I could have my own Minecraft server with this AI. Uh, potentially, if you can, you know, be like, hey, Minecraft. Like, so, hey, Microsoft, I would love to test this out. If you're listening to this podcast, um, hit us up on uh, Facebook or Twitter and we will play with it. That's uh, Golden State Media Concepts Technology Podcast. And you can find us on Facebook, Twitter and a bunch of other stuff. Yes. And we monitor the Twitter page pretty regularly. So please. Uh, comment or you know let it let us let us play with minecraft see i'm totally i'm i'm thinking eventually if this goes off the way they think it is i could totally see this becoming like a dlc yeah this is exciting um in my opinion i think that this is this is great i love the fact that microsoft is playing with ais and it's you know as my favorite software company i love that they're you know kind of sort of releasing this out and seeing where it goes and 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 i feel like it could pave the way to a better future. Of course, on the other hand, I wanted them to release, was it Tay into the wild? Uh, that would be fun. Hashtag free Tay. Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, totally. I, I'm down with it. I agree. I, yeah, bring Tay back. At least, see, I'm what I'm for is they should release it in the wild, release it as a kit, and just let everybody go for it. See what happens. So so release your Minecraft AI and, and release Tay in Minecraft. I would love to see what Tay would do. Probably light the whole world on fire. But it would be entertaining. What was it? Some people just want to watch the world burn. Yeah, she'd probably <laughs> kill all the villagers. This has been the Golden State Media Concepts Best of Technology Podcast Artificial Intelligence episode. If you like what you heard, you can find us on Facebook, 
Twitter, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, and GSMC.com. Thank you for listening. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Technology Podcast. Part of the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Just type in GSMC to find all the shows from the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. From movies to music, from sports to entertainment, and even weird news. You can also follow Follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's program.